Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and this new tutorial on PyTorch. So in previous video, we learned about uh, uh, PyTorch tensor and its data types. Okay. And also we have seen like how we can convert a tensor type to another uh, tensor type. Like if we have a tensor type float, how we can convert it into integer and so on. Okay. In this video, we will first learn about various attributes of a tensor. And then we will learn a bit uh, more about how we can initialize a tensor with uh, various uh, ways we have in um, uh, PyTorch library. Okay, so let us dive in and uh, we start with uh, 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 what are the various attributes we have in a tensor. So let us create a simple tensor. So let us say tensor is equal to let us import torch torch dot friend. So let us say it accepts simply a shape. So we can simply say shape it has is two cross three. Okay, so it um, it takes a tuple as an input, where shape is like uh, here you can think of as row and column. Okay, so it will have two rows and three columns. So let us uh, pass it to this function. Okay. Now let us see what various attributes it has. So every tensor has three attributes. One is shape, like what size it has. And the second one is what data type it contains. And the third one is what device it is on. So in general, there are mainly two type of devices. One is uh, either it is on CPU or it is on GPU, also known as CUDA. Okay, so we'll see that. So let us uh, print all these attributes of this tensor. So we can simply say tensor dot save tensor dot d type tensor dot device. Okay. So let us run and see what. Also, let us print tensor. Okay. So we will see that what it is. So let us run and see it. We see it has uh, two rows, three columns, and it says like uh, when we print uh, torch dot save, it prints like it is two cross three, and the data type of this particular tensor is float, and it is on CPU. Okay, and if we want to check uh, if we can move it to GPU, and also how we can do it, so let us check first if it has a GPU. The machine has a GPU. So we can simply use torch dot cuda dot is available. Okay. So if it is true, it means it has a GPU and uh, we can move in between CPU and GPU the tensor using simply dot two function. Okay. So we will see it. Uh, so it has a GPU, so it will print true. You see. And now we can simply move tensor from CPU to GPU using two function so we can simply set tensor dot two and we can simply pass cuda and this is how you can move tensor from cpu to gpu and if you have a tensor on gpu you can simply say here cpu okay that will move back it to cpu so first let us move it to gpu and see now the device will be cuda okay because it has gpu and it will move it to the GPU. So you see, it has just one GPU, so it says CUDA zero. Okay, so these are the basic uh, attributes uh, that each tensor has, and uh, now let us see like how we can initialize a tensor. Okay, so there are four ways a tensor can be initialized. So let us first look at uh, uh, first one where we already have a data, whether it is a raw Python list, Apple, and so on, and uh, or, or it can be uh, NumPy array. That's the second way of initializing it. Third way is like we have a tensor and uh, we want to create a new tensor, but we want to inherit all the properties of the base tensor. Okay, so that is like uh, we want to create a tensor like another tensor. Okay, and then the fourth type is simply like we want to create uh, a tensor with random values. Okay. So we will see these four things in uh, like uh, 
what are the various ways we can create a tensor okay there are many but these are the basic ways that you need to know to it this will cover like more than 90 percent of the cases when you need to uh, code it uh, uh, in general okay so let us say we have a data x is equal to let us say we have a one two this is a simply a list of lists so uh, we can say three and four okay now to create a tensor using this we can simply say tensor is equal to torch dot tensor and you simply pass x here okay and now we can simply print tensor and also we can print its uh, data type of course we can print it shape also we can print it device right? these are the various attributes we have so let us comment the above code okay so now let us run and see how it is created so let us run it. So you see it is a tensor of type in 64 and its size 2 cross 2 and it is on CPU because by default every tensor is created on CPU and if you want to move it on GPU you will need to uh, use this dot 2 method tensor dot 2 method. Okay so now let us move uh, to the second uh, way of initializing a tensor using NumPy. Okay. So NumPy is simply like uh, it has a tensor uh, like uh, properties, but uh, only one problem is like uh, you cannot move them to GPU and uh, vice versa. Okay, so let us create a NumPy array. So let us say NumPy array is equal to. So let us uh, import it NumPy dot array. And let us pass the x data here. Okay. Now this is a numpy array, so we can simply say print numpy array. You can also say numpy array dot d type. So you see, it has all the properties that uh, you need, as similar to the PyTorch tensor, provided it doesn't have anything like this. Okay, now you see the difference, man. It says it doesn't have a, a device. So that's the main um, benefit of using tensor in that sense. You can, if you have a GPU, it is better to use uh, the, because um, on GPU they are mainly optimized for uh, these uh, tensor uh, operations that we will see in the next video, of course. So, for example, matrix multiplication, our dot product, our cross product, and so on. Okay. So, let us uh, see how we can uh, convert this NumPy array to a tensor. So, there is a, a NumPy breeze which is created actually to inherit all the properties of NumPy and create a tensor on CPU. Okay. So, what is that? So, we can simply use from NumPy. Okay, so if you simply say tensor from numpy is equal to and we can simply pass here numpy array. Okay, now if we print this tensor here, so let us print here, so it will inherit because it is an integer type. So it will inherit that uh, D type would be uh, whatever D type it has, and whatever shape is had, definitely it will inherit that, and it will simply add another um, attribute which will be the device. Okay. Now if we will uh, print everything again, for example, if I will say shape dot D type dot device. Okay. Let us run and see it. Now you see it has two cross two uh, and 32 and it is on CPU. Okay. Okay. Now let us move to the next one where we will use uh, another tensor 
to create a new tensor we simply inherit all the tensor properties to this new tensor okay so let us do that so let us comment it out um so comment that comment this as well and also okay um so we can simply say tensor is equal to so let us create a torch dot zeros like so here we use underscore like okay that's where we will use a d type of a data type to create a tensor which will simply inherit all the properties okay so we can simply pass a tensor here so let us pass a tensor from here okay so let us pass here the tensor so it will create a tensor of type this which is simply an integer okay so let us uh, print the tensor also we can print the type of course to check it so let us of course we can print uh, um shape which is another property also definitely the device okay so now let us run and see it so you see earlier one was two cross two it has created a zero uh tensor filled with zero values and it is in 64 the other one is also in 64 and it is on cpu and this one is also on so the main thing is like uh, to have all the attributes same given a tensor okay that's what uh, this uh, approach of creating a tensor okay if i will simply move this to a gpu device so let us do that so i will simply say tensor is equal to tensor dot to CUDA. okay now as this device is on gpu this will automatically inherit that property and this will be now on gpu okay so let us run and see it do you see it is on gpu and this is also on gpu and there are many other methods like you can simply say tensor dot torch dot once like this will do the same thing it will create a tensor of filled with value one and then you can also say like rand like okay but here as it is all of them are integer and for integer tensor you need to create a high value uh, like uh, all the integers should not exceed that value and it will fail if we run it it will fail simply so we can force it let us run and see it so you can understand it better So you see it said check uniform bound not implemented for long as it is in 64 that's why it is staying long and so we can simply force it to be um d type is equal to torch dot float 32 now it will work okay so let us run and see it so now let us see like uh, how we can create random uh tensors okay so here i will show you like uh, what we need to create a integer tensor random integer tensor so we can simply say tensor is equal to torch dot rand int this was uh, what happening here when we were trying to create rand like because the data type of this tensor is int 64 and when we try to create in tensor you need to specify high like what is the maximum value of the integer that is this random tensor has and then of course you need to pass shape which is nothing but the size we can simply say 4 cross 5 and that's it we need to pass size because we already added high here so that's why it will ask us to create um a named attribute or named argument okay now we can simply print 
tensor and let us comment above also let us comment this part now let us run and see it you see it is random tensor but all the integers so what happened earlier when we trying to do it it was like this it can add, it can inherit the size but it doesn't have a mechanism to say what would be the maximum value in that sense okay that's why that was failing so i hope that is clear um other uh, uh, commonly used uh, uh, methods to create a random tensor is simply tensor is equal to toss dot zeros which also takes size we can simply say four cross two cross and so on whatever we want and it will create a tensor of this size that will be filled with values zeros okay so let us turn and see it you see also uh, another one that is more commonly used is uh, torch dot once and uh, now it will be filled with value one you see and by default the data type of these uh, uh, random initializers are float we can force them to be um, like let us uh, print it so we will see it so the d type of this is by default is float 32 okay now we can change it simply passing it here what d type we want to have it so i can simply say it should be torch dot int 32 now it will be in 32 you see that's how we can force the data type as well so i hope everything is clear in this video like how we can create a tensor and what are the various uh, uh, attributes a tensor can have and also how we can move a tensor from cpu to gpu and vice versa okay so in this video we will stop here in the next video we will talk about uh, various operations we can perform on tensors okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next